guys, how's it going? Retired and Happy here, Tech Reviews, back with another video. And in today's video, I wanna give you guys my 30-day experience with the ZV-1, the Sony ZV-1. Now, this is a great little point-and-shoot camera that shoots 4K 30, okay, up to 125 megabits per second. And I'm not a professional. I'm not even a semi-professional. I'm a hobbyist. I watch a lot of the YouTube channels just like you guys do and learn about photography from professionals and videography, easy for me to say, from professionals. And the main channels that I watch, just so you guys know, is Terry Warfield. Terry Warfield breaks down cameras, man. He explains it to where it's hard not to understand after he explains, you know, what aperture, shutter speed, uh, what ISO, just setting your camera up. Because right now I have it set up manually and I'm shooting 4K 30. So I'm using the double the frame rate rule of having it at 160th. I got it at F1.8 just to get that bokeh in the back. And my ISO currently is at 640. Probably should have it lower than that. Uh, but I'm not gonna mess with it right now, it's too late. <laughs> anyway, so though I watch his channel, Potato Jet, Jay Williams, and Film Alliance. Film Alliance is another one that explains real well, along with Potato Jet. Jay Williams is more of a hobbyist, I would say, but he explains things in a way that's pretty easy for people to understand. So that's why I like watching his channel, plus all the other tech that he talks about. Now, with all that out of the way, let me just say this. I think sometimes the professionals, when they're reviewing a camera, sometimes forget that regular consumers, somebody who's just gonna walk up the street, walk into Best Buy or go to Walmart or Target or wherever they're buying a the camera from, buys a camera, buys a selfie stick for this camera, sticks it out in front of them, right? And starts using it and expect it to work like your cell phone because this has active study shot, right? Where your cell phone, you can walk and talk and the AI from the cell phone will keep your footage very steady. Right, because I even use a gimbal with my phones to just get that buttery smooth footage. Well, the way Sony advertised this camera and the way it was advertised by some of the, uh, the bloggers like right, on YouTube, that's not what you're gonna get coming out the gate with this camera. You have to learn how to hold this camera and walk steady. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some film right now of me out today using this camera in the field on active steady shot. Now I do have a wider field of view that you can see right now and that is because I bought the Ulanzi lens, the wide angle lens to take it from, okay let me say this, okay, because I didn't mention this part. When you go to 4K on this camera, okay, it's going to punch in. Right now it's, it's 24 to 70, but on 4K, it makes it more of a 28 millimeter full frame equivalent. So I would be punched in more like this than I am here when you go to 4K if you don't get this wide angle lens. This wide angle lens allows you to go from that 28 millimeter to a 20 millimeter full frame equivalent of a full frame camera. So with that out of the way, right, as I'm walking and I'm trying to walk slow and hold the camera steady, no. You can still see all the up and down, all the micro jitters you can see right here. So no, no, no. You know, you gotta learn how to walk that ninja style walk and hold the camera pretty steady, hold it in the right positions when you walk and you're able to blog with it that way. I, I No. Me, I don't really have the patience to do all that. So what I'm gonna do is buy a gimbal for this camera, probably, the Zhiyun Crane M2, or see if my Ronin SC, if I can actually sit this on my Ronin and balance it. I don't think I can, uh, but I'll try and see if I can balance it on my Ronin. But yeah, I would love to have that camera, this camera work like my cell phone, just, you know, and the active steady shot works smooth enough to keep it smooth. That's not being realistic, okay? That's why I'm making this video to let you guys know. That is not a realistic expectation. If you got it on the tripod and you're out in the field, it's going to work great just like it's working right now. If you are taking photography, and I'll show you some photos that I took today with it out of the waterfall, photography works great. You know, I have no problem with the photos that it takes. Uh, the photos actually look pretty nice to me. 
you know, professionals will probably pick it apart, but to the average person looking at it, if you're loading it up on social media, which I'm not on any social media anymore, um, it's going to look great, you know, depending on the filter that you put it through and the compression, like with YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, it's going to look pretty good in comparison to the others. But I just wanted to give this quick overview so you guys can understand from a consumer standpoint, not from a professional, semi-professional, videographer or photographer, from just a regular person getting out of their car, walking into the store, buying this camera, and what your expectations should be. Your expectations should be realistic. You are not gonna have what you get from these cell phones with this camera. You're either gonna need to learn how to hold and walk that thing, walk with it very smoothly, or you're gonna have to buy a gimbal. I decided to buy a gimbal. I'm too disabled to try to do that ninja walk or my hands from all that medication is just not steady enough where I can just get a gimbal and let the gimbal do all the work as I walk and talk. So that's what I've decided to do. Okay guys, so hopefully this video helps some of you guys out when it comes to making your purchase of the Sony ZV-1 and what your expectations should be as a regular consumer not as a professional who's looking at this camera and knows how to walk and hold it and talk to you guys about it from a professional standpoint. I'm telling you guys as a consumer, know what you're getting. Because <laughs> with this, you're either gonna have to practice ninja or you're gonna have to get a gimbal. All right guys, so other than that, I am out. Peace, you guys have a great day.